Hello, Justin. My name is Sean Everett. I'm the website analysis expert over at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Shanique. She sent your website over to me for analysis, and here we go. You spent uh, good money on getting a great website. This is just spectacular, truly. Now, um, I'm going to tell you that right from the start, somebody who gets here is going to really enjoy all of the different uh, uh, options they have, all the interactivity, and all the information. Uh, this is a great website. Now, the issue is getting them here. And what I'm here to tell you is that everything that is in your site is one of the reasons that somebody will come here or not come here. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Uh, and I'm going to start out with this phrase. 97% of your traffic is going to come from Google. And I want you to just think about your Google experiences, your own Google experiences, uh, as I talk to you about what's going on with your site. Now, the first thing I do after looking at the site is I go over here to this paid tool that I have, and I look at the metrics of your site, and it shows me how your site has been performing. Then I go and I do a regular old Google search uh, for Madison, Wisconsin Roofer. Now, uh, this is an opportunity for me to tell you a little bit about how Google works, because that's important to uh, understanding uh, uh, where your site is getting its customers uh, and, and how many. Uh, now, obviously, being up near the top of a Google search is better. Uh, no doubt about it. There is a monetary value to being up near the top. Now, the first folks you're going to come in contact with on a Google search are the sponsored ones. That means that they paid to be here. Now, just below that is what we call the map pack in my business because these folks are attached to a map. What they have done to satisfy the Google algorithm is they have filled out a Google business profile better than any of the other folks down here. And the Google business profile is essentially uh, a Facebook profile, but it's about your business. It's going to ask you what year you opened. It's going to ask you what your regular hours are. And uh, it's going to ask you to prove that you own the website that you're uh, filling in the profile for. Now, below that are what we have, what we call the organic searches. And I have scrolled down. There's a bunch of lists uh, like these, best Madison roofers. Um, and uh, I have come to this. And I did not find your site by scrolling and scrolling down. And forgive me, but I just do not find you guys down here. So I came to this particular one um, and just to see what the uh, comparison would be against your site. So I'm going to call uh, Infinity Roofing your Google competitor. Now, um, here is their site. It's not bad. They say that they are a Madison, Wisconsin roofing contractor. I don't know if that's true. I think that they're a larger company that has an office here, perhaps a franchisee. I don't know. But Here's what I know. Uh, I'm going to do something really fast here for you, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to cut and paste your website into this word counter. There we go, 845 words. That's actually really good. And the reason I'm doing that is that Google loves content. Content is what Google wants their search customers to have plenty of, because they figure that wherever they send their search customers, they want their search customers to learn something about whatever it is that they typed in about. They have determined that 1,500 words is the minimum that they can have on their on a, on a home page to be legitimate in, in the eyes of Google. Now, your competitor has 1,026, and you have 845. So, unfortunately, in this uh, race of the words, uh, your competitor wins. But I can tell you that all words are not equal also. Now, um, here's your words. You have 391 words in your, uh, in your website. And uh, these are keywords. Keywords are short words or phrases that actually come from a variety of places, like a Google search. Google keeps track of all the searches that it does. And then it, uh, uh, it, it knows what sites were pulled up as a result of that search. And so it looks for those words, and it makes a list of them in uh, – in order of frequency, essentially, which one appeared most, which one appeared second, and so on. So it has this list of keywords that it looks for. And uh, now you have 391, Infinity has 13,200. 
that's even surprising to me. Okay, now uh, here are their keywords. And as you can see, sometimes it's like a, practically a paragraph. How much does it cost to replace a roof on a 1,600 square foot house? Um, now, there are a lot of things like that. These are not necessarily in order of importance, by the way. Um, but a lot of folks are asking, how much does it cost? Uh, and uh, how do a refer, roofers rip off, uh, rip you off? I thought they meant how you rip the roof off when they're replacing it. Well, anyway, that's a question folks have. Uh, roofing Milwaukee, apparently they do roofing in Milwaukee too. Roof cost. I guess they have a lot of folks who are interested in the cost of roofs. Window cost calculator. Uh, roof replacement estimate. Um, so there are a lot of questions about that in your region, clearly. Um, and those are just some of the keywords that they use. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about are backlinks. And backlinks are uh, where you appear on somebody else's site and there is a link back to you on that site. Now, that's sort of like Google saying, oh, if a lot of people are talking about you, you must be important. The more links there are to your site, Google figures that you are worthwhile of sending their search customers to you. So uh, you have 200 backlinks. Infinity has 1,600. Um, here are their backlinks. Uh, Expertise.com, Yellow Pages, uh, eHow, uh, Super Pages, This Old House. I'm skipping by ones that I really don't know what they are. Uh, today's Homeowner, Dex Knows. Those are ones that are identifiable to me. You want all of your uh, domain ratings on those sites that you have a backlink on to remain in the 70s, 80s, or 90s because um, the higher a, a score, the higher the domain rating, that means that more other sites are referring to that site, which gives them that 90. Now, interestingly enough, you have a pretty good domain rating yourself at 14 for a company your size. I am impressed. But uh, that is the domain ratings uh, that you have here. Um, now, finally, where the rubber hits the road is this. Your keywords and your backlinks have led you to get about 96 clicks from Google last month. Uh, that's up 19 from the month before. And uh, that's not bad. That's what, like three plus kick clicks a day? Here's what Infinity had. They had 9,900 clicks. Now, the difference in the uh, value of that, the value of your clicks was about 270 bucks. And the value of their clicks was about 46,800. That's a huge disparity. And you could be getting much more of this pie if you were higher up in the Google search results. Um, and think about your own search, uh, search history. You know, like when you're finding somebody, I'm just going to scroll down to see if I see you because I've done this before and sometimes I miss you. But uh, how far do you scroll down before you say, you know what? Uh, anything from here on up, I'm good with. I don't need to go much further down because then the results start getting kind of, you know, iffy. So, um, yeah, here we go. We're coming up on page four here. No, you're not here. So you definitely want to be higher in the Google search results in order to get the value of the the uh, uh, clicks that this company has. Um, now, uh Doing all of that is a laborious, it requires research, and it's kind of a dull process unless you love it. But uh, um, this is where I think you probably would prefer to spend your time roofing, which you're clearly very good at, as opposed to digging around in the belly of your website. And that's where I think Shanique might be able to give you a call. So uh, thank you so much for watching this. I uh, uh, I said that wrong. I said Shanique might give you a call. I think where you should give Shanique a call. My tongue was not working in that moment. Uh, she'd be happy to lead you through the next steps of how to get what I've suggested to you done. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.